Of all the Gilbert and Sullivans, this is the one that I love the most. I think it's actually one of the funniest, one of the funniest operettas, operas ever written. To me, you can't not smile and be engaged in this music and be affected in a happy, positive way. And I think it's because, not just because the music is fun and the music is interesting and it's extremely well written, but also the more I studied this piece, the more you realize that it is absolutely sarcastic, funny, loving, joyful. Comedy is, is extremely difficult to do. It's timing. And so the timing is what we need to work on in staging and musical timing and everything like that. And really, there's an architecture to it. There's an art form to it. So between Sean and myself and the singers, you know, seeing what they're doing and, and what they're doing, how they do it and maximizing that and, ma and finding the timing for all of that is really for Sean and I to sort of do to get this architecture to happen. But I really like to be, as a conductor, someone that not only looks forward at the people that are in front of me, but also I need to realize what's happening behind me. We're performing for the audience, especially as an, in a piece like this. I really want to take care of the audience. And you know, after so many years of experience, you really start to feel the audience behind you and you can tell when they're going to laugh or you can tell, you can sort of get the vibe of what's happening behind you. And you really need to also take care of the audience. And if the audience wants to laugh, you should let them laugh. If the audience wants to cry, you should let them cry. And I think that's why also in this particular piece, there are those traditional stops and starts, especially in the Modern Major General's aria and things like that. There are places to stop so that the jokes can land. And of course, if they don't land, we keep going. But if they do, it's important for there to be tension and relaxation, not just on stage, but also in the audience. We build something up and we have the architecture to deliver a joke. Why would I not let the audience laugh? I must, so that they also release their tension, I think. I think it's important to do that, and I like being this sort of feeling everything in the opera house 360 degrees. I think it's important. For me to collaborate with the singers and the orchestra and the pianists and this wonderful chorus that we have here um, and really discover what is funny for us, how our voices and how our acting is going to affect the audience and how we can maximize all of the jokes, all of the empathy, all of the comedy, all of that stuff. Giving this to our audience here in Atlanta, I think, is, is just going to be an incredible and beautiful and, and very timely event. And I hope everyone leaves really with just the, the same sense of joy that I will have in the pit.